On this day, July 20, 1929, the Honduran Medical Association is founded. It was on July 20, 1929, when they met for the first time in the auditorium of the National University in order to organize a medical society, the Dr. Salvador Paredes, Ramón Valladares, Romualdo Cepeda, Carlos Pinel, Manuel Arios Córdoba, Manuel Cáceres Vigil, José Manuel Dávila, Héctor Valenzuela, Ramón Reyes Ramírez, Alfredo Midense, José Durón and Camilo Figueroa. He took the floor to explain the reasons for the meeting. Dr. Camilo Figueroa and it was the motion of Dr. Romualdo Cepeda that the Honduran Medical Association was founded that same day. In making the election of the provisional board, the doctors were favored Camilo Figueroa as president, José Ramón Durón, vice president, Salvador Paredes, member one, Ramón Valladares, vocal two, Romualdo Cepeda, secretary, and Héctor Valenzuela, treasurer. The enthusiasm and the intense work carried out from the beginning by its founders made the number of associates grow in a short time. New names appeared on the list of partners, Vicente Mejía Colindres, at the time, President of the Republic, Miguel Paz Barahona, Ricardo Alduvin, Manuel Zúñiga, Trinidad Mendoza, José Jorge Callejas, Isidoro Mejía, Antonio Vidal, Marco Delio Morales, Manuel Castillo Barahona, Napoleón Bográn, Humberto Díaz, Juan Mejía, Martín Bulnes, Abelardo Pineda Ugarte, Marcial Cáceres Vigil, Enrique Gilbert, just to mention some prominent associates of the old guard, who were joined almost entirely by doctors from all over the Republic. The work carried out by the group of colleagues of the generation that comprises until 1940 was very intense, both from the scientific, cultural and social point of view. This was a day in the history of Honduras.